Jersey Sports Zone's coverage of Moorestown is brought to you by NJM Insurance. It's been Mohawk Mania in Moorestown. The Quakers hope their playoff haircuts help them in the Group 3 State Championship. Moorestown looking for their first state title in exactly 60 years as they go up against Ramapo. The Quakers showed early on that they have some serious range. There's Evan Francisco dialing up from distance. And then folks, here comes one of the gnarliest crossovers we've ever seen in Jersey Sports Zone history, Jagger Zarata. One of Morristown's top shooters has the moves like Jagger. What a crossover from Zarata. None of it matters though, unless he sinks the three. Wow. Zarata gives the Quakers an 8-2 lead late in the first. Ramapo certainly not ready to roll over yet. The Raiders speed Lafayette commit Neil Quinn the Rock down low. And then it's John Hooley going with the reverse lay in for two. Morristown up 10-8 after one. The Quakers kept their foot on the gas in the second quarter. Here's Nick Cartwright Atkins on the steal. He drives it up the court for the finish. The Quakers now out to a six point lead. Moorestown also played lockdown defense. Nick Cartwright Atkins, not in my house. Big time play there. Jagger Zarata continued to be red hot from the floor. This rim of hope backcourt had no answers for his handles. Moorestown out to a nine point lead halfway through the second quarter. Ramapo though working to keep things close as halftime nears. KC Hunt, money on the spin and floater. Hunt makes it a seven point game as Morristown leads 23-16 at the half. The Quakers continue to shoot with confidence from beyond the arc. This time it's Vinny Caprarola who's locked in. Caprarola finds an opening there, back to back threes. Moorestown now leading 34-23, going into the fourth. Although they were down by double digits, you have to give credit to Ramapo for never giving up. KC Hunt doing his best to give the Raiders a shot in the fourth. Hunt off the inbounds, gets the steal. Back-to-back -back buckets for KC Hunt gives Ramapo a chance. It's 40-33, 3.39 left in regulation. But this game would ultimately come down to the basics. Morristown scored 24 points in the fourth quarter. Check this, they were all from the free throw line. That's a remarkable display of how practice makes perfect because it was lights out shooting from the free throw line that gives Morristown a group three title. 58-44 is your final. It's the first time in 60 years that Morristown wins a state championship on the hardwood and you can clearly see what it means to the South Jersey champs. Now the Quakers head to the Tournament of Champions riding a 14 game win streak. We talked to the stars of the game afterwards about what this means to their hometown. It's very emotional. Uh, right now, uh, it's gonna hit me tonight. I'm gonna be in the shower. I'm just gonna just ball tears of joy because it's just, it's a true honor to represent Morristown basketball. Uh, I poured my heart and soul into this team. We all have. So just to do this for the Morristown, it's amazing, man. It's just, it's very, uh, it's, it's just like an honor. It's a real true honor. I mean, that's it. It comes down to, to foul shots and rebounds and taking care of the basketball. And um, we were happy to do all three of those. But to make those foul shots uh, late in the fourth quarter when we have tired legs, you know, it's impressive. These kids just want it. You know, that's what it is. It comes down to them. They want it. It feels, it feels amazing. Uh, we haven't done this in 60 years. Our school hasn't done it in that long. To be the guys to do it is a truly amazing feeling. And uh, yeah, we're definitely gonna celebrate it because uh, you know, we've had amazing fan base the whole year, amazing uh, families behind us. So I'm so proud of all the guys. Reporting from Rutgers University, I'm Jay Cook with JerseySportsZone.com.